The straight line chip can be used to create borders around a chip carving pattern. It can also be incorporated into any design you make. The straight line cut can be formed by making two cuts to form a V groove. In order to form a straight line cut, hold the cutting knife in the first position, forming a tripod between the thumb, the tip of the blade and the knuckle of the index finger. As you carve the straight line, look ahead of the cutting edge. Keep an eye on the line. When it comes to the end of your line, simply tip your knife up to avoid cutting past your end line. Completed the first cut, turn your piece 180 degrees and repeat the same process. Patience is the key to consistency, especially with chip carving. Don't rush any of the cuts. Loose chips should be removed by hand and not forced. If the chips are forced, this may result in the tearing of fibres and resulting in a poor finish. When it comes to the end of your line, simply tip your knife up to avoid cutting past your end line. In terms of practicality, some students may find it easier to place their panel onto a table and clamp it down before carving. In this way, both hands can be used to hold a knife. Completed the first cut, turn your piece 180 degrees and repeat the same process.
As we can see, the stab knife can be used to make small decorative features such as stars and crosses. In order to create larger indentations, the rocking motion can be introduced. 